What's up, art fans? This is Steve from NVIDIA. Today, we'll be going on a fantastical journey through the work and minds of some incredible artists with a truly unique vision of the world. Ever wonder what a bird song looks like? Andy Thomas does. Then, he sets out to take you on an auditory journey using creative visuals in a stunning 3D animation series he calls Visual Sounds of the Amazon. But Andy didn't just lazily pull audio files off the internet. He literally went to the Amazon to record these bird songs all firsthand. Now, that's a fantastical journey. Whether he's sketching in ZBrush or playing with Article Sims and Houdini, Andy is fascinated by making bird sounds feel like delicate little creatures. His use of a high depth of field and plain background really brings these sound creatures to life with breathtaking color and movement. Andy's always thinking of the collision of nature and technology and the common algorithms that tie them together. He says he first felt the connection when he looked up into the sky one day and saw a bird in a tree singing while a passenger plane flew by overhead. I mean, just look at these undulating lines and pulsating colors, the visual sonics, so mesmerizing to watch. And, thanks to Andy, there's no need to take a fantastical Amazonian ayahuasca trip. We all now know what a bird song looks like. And it is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I mean it. It's truly beautiful looking. Next up, we have Mauche Kuchara. For Mauche, the art is all about the story, brought on by a moment of inspiration from a song, a movie, or even a long walk. The Guinevere idea was one of those inspired moments. What started as a simple keyframe painting session turned into the lifelong story of a character called Guinevere who lives in a primal, primitive world populated by beasts beyond imagination. Mao Che infuses every image with a strong visual narrative that features stark cinematic landscapes and moody lighting to evoke emotion and set up the energy of the scene. But there's also a bit of mystery in his images. Who is Guinevere? Looks like she's about to give birth. Is the wolf a danger or a protector? And whose blood is this? Did she kill the wolf or something else? We're not sure. I'm not sure. But one thing I am sure of is that I'm hooked and I want to know what happens. So I'm along for the journey. A walking Templar is good. Marching Templars are even better. Marching Templars through a skeleton of a giant beast? Now we're talking. Welcome to the mind of Jama Jurabeyev, whose work is as personal as it is stunning. Jama's childhood in a harsh world of civil war impacted not only his upbringing, but also his perception of what art should be. Mysterious, dark, atmospheric, and fantastical in both subject matter and scope. For Jama, knowing camera lensing and physical camera properties is key to perfecting composition and adding drama to the moment that will change how the viewer reacts to a piece. Look how absolutely cinematic these pieces look. I mean, if the art gig doesn't work out for Jama, he could easily slide into being a director of photography for feature films. And these look like shots from Ridley Scott's Kingdom of Heaven. Also, using VR in Gravity Sketch or Adobe Medium gives him the freedom to turn those dramatic moments into breathtaking images. Just look at the dimension he creates using beautiful contrast and layers of light across wide vistas. As they journey on, you can almost hear the sounds of clanking armor and of thousands of marching feet in the atmospheric mist. Our last journey is with concept designer Votek Fus. Unlike some of the other artists, Votek is more interested in the creative impact of his pieces than the stories behind them, utilizing applications such as Cinema 4D, Octane Render, Photoshop, and Daz 3D, and driven with the horsepower from NVIDIA GTX cards. He is able to create brilliant contrasts of shadow and vivid light sources, and mystery to every image. In this piece called Oasis, we see a traveler that looks like a scrap dealer 
and feel her solitude in a world where she only interacts when needed. Oh my gosh, did you hear me say that? In a world? <laughs> Just like the epic voice behind movie trailers. In a world. Okay, let's get back to the journey. We feel the same sense of isolation in this other piece called Mushroom Forest, but this is an environment lost in time. Questions. I have questions. What do the light sources in their satchels mean? Maybe it's currency or sustenance, or maybe it represents the inspiration that drives them forward. In any case, in both worlds, it feels like Votek is sending his characters out on a long, solitary journey with stunningly beautiful scenery to light their way. Wow, that was some amazing artwork. If you want us to feature your artwork and your journey, go ahead and share it at hashtag StudioShare and follow us at NVIDIA Creators to see what else we have in store for you. 